Hi there, Mike from Greenway. Well, we still got the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning with us with the long range battery. And last video, we checked out the efficiency when we're driving on the highway and basically the range and the battery capacity. This time, we're gonna check out how it is for towing. So, we've got attached today a camper that's around that's around seven to eight thousand pounds and it's about 33 feet in length so let's take it for a drive on the highway and see how far we get we're not gonna fully exhaust the battery we'll just do an experiment and see how far we can get Okay, so we're gonna use trip two to record how much power we're using. You can see currently for the past thousand kilometers, we were using 27 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. So we'll compare that to what it works out. I can see we're at 55% state of charge and the truck's estimating 129 kilometers of range currently. And it adjusted that down significantly when the trailer was hooked up. So it's already done some adjustment, but let's see how accurate that is. So I'm gonna reset the trip odometer and let's head out. Okay, so we've been on the road for about 45 minutes. We've gone 44 kilometers, so you know our average speed wasn't that high. But our electricity usage was 58 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So uh, it's about double what it was before because the uh, trip meter before we reset it was at 27. So we're just over double. And you can see we started with 55% state of charge we're down to 34 percent and also the range estimated meter that says 54 or the gesso meter has significantly adjusted itself based on the experience it's had towing the trailer and interestingly enough so 34 that's about a third of a hundred percent so um if you take that 54 multiply by three then you're at 162 kilometers estimated range for the vehicle pulling this particular trailer. But we can also do another estimate here. Let me show you. Okay, so let's bring out the calculator here as well. So if you recall, we did 44.4 kilometers on this trip and we started with 55% battery. We're down to 34%. So we used 19% battery to go 44 kilometers. So we take that 44, and we divide it by 0.19. That's gonna give us what 100% works out to be. So it's 231 is what a good estimate is for our total range, which is interesting. That's quite a bit different from what the dashboard's estimating. Remember we did the 54 times three, that's only 162. So it's somewhere between 231 and 162 kilometers is our range, so it's hard to know. And of course, it's gonna have a huge difference depending on the wind, our speed, uh, if it's raining or not. And of course, this particular trailer is on the larger side, but if you have a smaller trailer, then of course it'll affect it as well. And this trailer is also, because it's so big, it's gonna collect a lot of wind as well. So a lot of factors to take into account, but you can sort of count on your range uh, being decreased by about half, it seems, from this experiment compared to regular range for the vehicle. So this is uh, one way to do a test of the range 
of your F-150 Lightning when you're pulling a trailer. And uh, it wasn't a very long test, of course, so maybe in the future we could pull a couple hundred kilometers and see how that differs. But then, of course, the day will be different, so the numbers will be different. The wind will be in a different direction. Maybe we're going at a different speed. So, um, you know, I, I guess if you're planning to pull your trailer, your camper, and it's pretty big, uh, and you're trying to do a cross-country trip, and you've got a range of somewhere between 160 and 250 kilometers, as we've estimated today, that's going to mean you do a lot of recharging. So you have to really plan for that. For my purpose here, I'm just pulling the trailer, uh, you know, a few kilometers to the campground nearby home. So it's really not an inconvenience for me. I'm not planning to pull it across country. But of course, it all depends on your usage case and how you're going to be utilizing the vehicle. If you're towing a lot, then that's something to consider when purchasing an EV. So leave me your comments uh, down below and let me know what you think about this experiment we ran today. And as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And also if you'd consider subscribing, that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.